On March 15, 2018, students in grade 6 through 8 came from all over Pennsylvania to the National Constitution Center to compete in National History Day. 25 Julia de Burgo students created fascinating projects and put them on display with the hopes of sagging an award. At the beginning of the school year, NHC announced this year's theme, Conflict and Compromise. Participants could choose any topic that related to their theme. You have to be passionate about doing your own project and your favorite topic. Um, someone's going to National History Day is make sure you have all your information. You can learn about National History and only that you can learn how it goes in the competition. You go against so much people uh, and it feels good to win, you know. It feels good to come in first place, second place, third place, because then you move on to the competition. After months of research, students began to create their final projects. They could either create a paper, an exhibit, a website, a documentary, or a performance. In addition, participants also had to create a detailed bibliography describing all the sources they used and write a process paper describing all the steps taken along the way. Exhibits had their own display room and documentaries were shown at the HYY building across the street. Students did their performances in a small theater upstairs. Regardless to the project type, all participants were interviewed by a panel of judges to learn more about the projects and the creation process. The judges not only asked questions but provided positive feedback. By the end of the judging process, students felt proud of their work. The best memory was actually finishing, <laughs> finishing the whole project and just finishing the judges and because after months of working on the project it's a relief and it weights off your shoulder. Talking to the judges was a little a little nerve-wracking because I, like their questions were good and I didn't have like official answer so I have to go for my opinion and stuff like that. It was positive speaking to the judges because that they gave us good advice. They gave us like like how should we did last year like last year, I did all right, but this year they told me that I did better than last year. So that's why I, they, it was so positive that I got the note from them. Like four out of five was positive, and one of them was positive, but not like so positive like the other other ones. At the end of the day, all the students, parents, and teachers and judges gathered in the atrium for the Ward San Maroni. Julia the Burgos School had an excellent showing, winning five awards. Isabel Rojas and Jaleshka Diaz took home second place of their group documentary entitled The Compromise of 1850. Diamond Gonzalez won first place for her documentary about the ERA and the National Women's Conference in 1977. Aliyah Alvarez was awarded third place for her individual exhibit called Historical Fashion and Women's Lives. Isabel Valdez won first place for her individual performance about sexual assaults on college campuses. How did it feel to hear your school name called for awards? It felt so good. Best memory was the awards. It felt good to hear my school name cry, um, shout it. It felt good because like we all represented our school just like many other schools. So I was like, yeah. It's exciting and like so like heart, heart, like, I don't want to say. Sentimental? Sentimental. All the contestants are working on improving their already stellar projects in order to compete in the state competition in Carlisle, PA on May 11th. Congratulations to all the participants and let's root for our De Burgos classmates in the next round of the competition. I'm just about winning. The experience is fun because it's my first time actually going to the competition and making it there because I didn't go last year, but it was fun. The experience was super fun. I was really excited because like I know that my school came in first and I felt like we was over every other school. I felt like my school was the best there and I always felt like even every time I went there. Go to National History Day, do as much as you can, see how far you could get, save your school, come in first place and see what's the best thing about National History Day and do your research about it.